Good evening, folks. Welcome to Garbler Games. Um, yeah, welcome to Garbler Games. We're going to play some Alien. Um, and um, we're playing Heart of Darkness, which is the Free League cinematic scenario. The one that they're currently pre-order. And if you pre-order it, you yep, get a PDF. Yeah. And it's not quite gone out as uh, hardback yet. Um, but soon, I'm told, soon, at the Facebook page. Soon. Um, and soon... There will be more people with the word dead on their face. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Um, this is session five. Five? Six. 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 Gosh. Time flies. Five you... plus one. Yeah, five plus one. Um, six um, of four. Six of four. Seven of nine. No way. We're the board now. Yeah. Um, but That's um... how we could survive. Ooh, a Borg seen a move. <laughs> And probably already is a comic book or something of that somewhere. Um, let's let's find out how folks are doing. Uh, hey, Pete, how are you? I'm fine. Everything's fine here. Everything's fine. My house fine. is okay. Nothing's on fire. Um, yeah, I'm I'm good. I'm good. Nice. I'm are on those holiday the this week. Yeah, yeah. Okay. At the moment, right now. If, yep. If my um, house is on fire, everything is good. Nice. No, if my house is not on fire, everything is good. Oh, okay. Then I'm okay. okay. Uh, yes, I'm looking forward to dying horribly from either the injury I've already sustained or from another one. Because when we as I jump we, through yeah. space towards my starship, as I'm like poof, flying through space with two story points. <laughs> two story points in one leg. <laughs> yep, yep. But damn it, I'm getting on my ship and I'm getting the fuck out of here. Or I'm ramming something else. One of the two. One of the two. Blaze of glory. Um, hey, Ben. How's it Hello. going? It is okay. Is your house on fire? It is not. No, my house is Excellent. not on fire. Excellent. We're doing two out of two so far. Yeah. Um, and Don't how... let us down, Simon. <laughs> See flames spreading around behind Simon. <laughs> this is fine. This is fine. Yeah. <laughs> um, how's Drabikowski? Um, I believe um, she's, she's, she's a, a little open. stressed, but nowhere near as much as everybody else, by the looks of things. Mm -hmm. And she has a plan, Excellent. a strategy, a scheme. A scheme. We're all for schemes in Alien Cinematics. All for schemes. Um, and she is still up in um, Command and Control. She? Ops. Up, ops. 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 Yeah, Sorry, she's yeah, in ops. ops. Up in Ops with all the commuter mobs. Absolutely not downloading um or storing anything secret Not no secrets here all good um good simon crucial question yeah is your house on fire nope i'm all good excellent and are you well friend i'm very well yeah yeah excellent. i've been very excited today i've been looking forward to this it's gonna be really cool awesome how's navarre the bar is is in a world of pain and is is psychologically scarred. I think when you get to like seven stress, you should automatically get like a permanent, you know, something. Permanent psychological <laughs> yeah. tick. Yeah. There are rules like once you get past a certain number of stress at the end of or once you roll past the highest high number of Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, you get like yeah, there's yeah. There's stuff that happens. Um Mm. If your character were to survive and you were to play further, <laughs> uh, like you know, towards the end of the Colony War, where yeah. um, amnesia, amnesia just kicked in, yeah, yeah. and folks yeah. had to roll to see whether they had nightmares or whether they didn't have nightmares because some people wanted them because that made them feel, and other people didn't because that made them twitchy, and then some people had to rely on a video they made. Yeah, uh, to remind them of everything. Oh, it was so cool. It was I'm so pleased really I made that video. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very good. Um, and um, uh, as we can see, uh, Ajiri is dead. So um, uh, Leon's decided to sit out and heckle from chat tonight. Um, hi. Oh, thanks for subscribing. 19 months in a row. Thank you. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. Um, you don't have to do that if you die on Garblag. We don't force you to subscribe later. Yes, we do. Oh, do we? Yeah, oh. yeah. Oh, okay. Stay alive as long as I can. Give me your prime <laughs> details. <laughs> yeah, like oh, okay. But yeah, um, Ajiri died. Uh, we found out what Hellstrom Henstrom was doing. 
Um, it was murdering their mates. Uh, so, um, as we um, as we left Navarre, he jumped into the chute. Uh, I was going up. He was going up to operations to go meet Drabakowski. Um, but on the way down and out of an airlock, we left Luger. Oh, yeah. Luger was... So... You're, you're what? You're um, leaping out the door to swing down a level to get to your ship, which you parked on the deck below um, by yes. driving it into the station. Um, and Carefully, hopefully, yep. Hopefully your synthetic grey managed to make a couple of repairs before he was completely ripped apart yeah. by a weird hybrid thing that treated i'm i'm less hopeful of that i, I know that's probably not going to happen so i'm just going to be pushing the um Ceterina beyond its operational tolerance is probably i don't care right now i'm just I'm, I'm jumping at the ship and uh trying to get in through an airlock okay just launching yourself um at a ship yep. Yep. And all right. Ooh, ooh, I pressed the wrong button. That was nearly a disaster. Scream oh. ends. Everybody's dead. <laughs> yeah. Yay. All right. Okay. So um, we've lost a leg. That was yep. uh, a mobility de decrease, wasn't it? Um, and then we're also in a suit, which reduces mobility. Um, Unless yep. you've got zero, zero G, G training. Does Luga have zero G no. training? No, no, she doesn't. No, I have Starship Mechanic. I mean, that might help you in a bit. Yeah, maybe. Help you a bit. Um, yeah, because you're not doing heavy machinery out in space yet. Uh, no, no, not yet. But I may have to do something in a pinch, mm -hmm. so that might save my butt. So just save your butt. All right, let's um, let's make a mobility roll. As you stood there, the airlock cycles. Door behind you is changes from green to red. Door in front of you flashes. There's that thing. There's like you know the air leaves the airlock. Yeah. Um, there's that picture of the person upside down, the sticker on the wall. Yeah. You're entering a zero G area and all that kind of stuff. The semiotics. <laughs> um, Right, let's roll some dice. I think the first time you've looked out into the to the black hole. I didn't have to make a sanity roll last time or something. Yeah, you just... Uh, oh, that was... Um, that was just space madness. That's just a space madness from being okay. so close to a black hole. Is this the first I, time I must have like... I must have looked at it as I flew towards it. I, no, I would but, presume... but there's no spaceship between you and it now. This is like that's you true. staring into a dark black bright hole and also drabakowski giving you helpful suggestions about how the edge of you will travel faster towards your i point. think i probably switched that off a while ago i don't need anyone disturbing me while i'm flying through space okay all right so yeah let's make um let's make a mobility roll let's see how luga does here so what penalties am i under at the moment um sorry what was our um Minus two for the leg. Yeah, yeah. minus two for the leg. I'm not sure whether uh, it's... Minus two for the suit, I believe. Yeah, it's minus yeah. two for the leg, minus two for the suit. So minus four. Minus four dice. I want story. I'm going to use a story point. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. Why? Does that mean you've got no dice? I had one dice, actually. I, I might as well roll, might I? You got one no, dice. But I might left. panic and then spin off into, like, space drop something and spin off into space so yeah, i'm gonna use all those stress die as well yeah that's what i'm worried about <laughs> you just want to be like deep breath calming I'm breath. take a deep breath look at the black hole and be like fuck you not today and then <laughs> and then jump down towards the starship so do she, does she do like a cool thing where she like clips herself onto to one side and leaps in one direction and hopefully like the the trajectory of it will swing her in under something um is that what she does if that if one successful let me do that with a story point I mean, then yeah yeah that's point. Cool. it's gonna yeah. look cool if that's i will what we're just um, doing there isn't it i may actually like 
jump. No, that that's ridiculous. I'll I'll hook on. I was going to say, like, just use my jack to like rotate round and give myself some angular momentum and okay. swing down underneath something. My uh, my signature item, oh, yeah. which I assume is some large tool, big wrench like thing, thing. Um... something like that, space tool. Can I can I just interject because because I'm going to do it in a minute hmm. that if you interact with your signature item you can reduce your stress. You can reduce just, your stress by one, yeah, in a meaningful way, yeah. I'm just saying because I'm going to do that myself, so I didn't want you to have missed the opportunity after you. The mechanics are secondary, Simon. I'm doing it for the story. No. <laughs> yeah, that's no, a good point. I will <laughs> I happily mean, remove a point of stress. <laughs> what stress is Luger on right now? I was on five. Oh, okay. It's not. So now I'm down you know, to four. Not instant catatonic state like uh, Ajibi got to. Uh, luckily, I was absent for half of the episode last week, so I didn't actually accrue much stress. <laughs> Excellent. Excellent. <laughs> the only thing that saved me. <clears throat> I didn't get much stress last session either. Clearly. Probably by locking myself into ops and refusing to let anyone in. Yeah. Um, all right. So... Let me just come down to no oh, that one um so we um where was it this deck deck yeah it was this deck so we we come down luga clips herself on uh hops out into space the strange static of the the um air out the black hole kind of crackling over your your comms blocking out the noise of Dravoskowski explaining astrophysics at you um in a totally unsettling no totally calming and uh turn it off. <laughs> yeah yep. yeah um <laughs> and you um you swing down so you can reach your um your ship um, yes please <laughs> And, and I imagine like there is a jump, you hit the thing, you magnetic yeah. connect, run yeah. and sort of, you know, push off and swing and that kind of stuff to get to bit of a, places. A, bit a of hop, a, skip and a jump down the side of the yeah, station. It's a bit of like a cinematic sort of moment. And as you're, as you're sort of hitting parts of the outside of the station, chunks of, um, chunks of like the, the plating and stuff kind of leave and, and break off almost like scabs breaking off skin you can see that there is this strange sort of sinew holding parts of the station together as it, it kind of moves <laughs> I'd be like what the fuck yeah, getting and, away and, Go get and out of here that four stress goes back up to five as you oh, sort of look over all this that's wrong that's wrong that's wrong yeah um you make um uh, an observation roll for us no <laughs> Okay, yeah, you don't have to. No, that's all right. No, it's all right. I will I will roll. I will roll. Hang on. Just gotta find my my boys have been throwing my dice around the room. Oh, um nice. No, I oh, can't is find there any my special aliens. rolls on re-rolls this week, because I noticed we've all been given one. Oh. Um we what, do we want them or do we should we refund? Who who is the wonderful person who gave us some? I think... Um uh Eldas Rich. Richard. Do we, should we refund them? Because we can go back into the admin panel and yeah, give you back I think your we points. should refund them, and we're not doing re-rolls. Unless it's a push. Hard mode. Yeah, unless it's a normal push. We do it on normal mode. <laughs> yeah. Uh, not easy. Oh, right, uh, do I get still get a penalty for observation for my suit? No, you don't get a penalty for no. observation. It is just... Um... Okay. Oh, two successes on observation. And no face huggers. Nice, good effort. Um, right, so as you're sort of um, looking out, as you're you're leaping up, trying to pay attention to everything almost around you, and um, looking out over into space, you spot um, a, a sort of I guess it's semi familiar. Um, it looks like a, a Cheyenne. Um, it's on a really sort of curving kind of orbit um and you imagine they're massively compensating for 
the uh, the black hole to sort of mm. bring and skirt the, the event horizon yeah like a really like if we were in normal space or we weren't so close to a black hole even um you'd probably they'd probably like overshoot and miss um uh, but mm. as a as a pilot you realize um they are doing it to avoid the black hole and uh, they will uh sometime soon uh hit the station or dock with the station park with the station as you did earlier. Can can I try and comm that ship from where I am? Um, like with my suit comms? Hmm. Um, I don't know. Uh, it may not be possible. You know, I'm just curious what the... <clears throat> I'll wait till I get to the ship, my ship. I'll, uh, I think when I get in my ship, I'll, I'll comm them. Try from your ship. Okay. Try from the Cesarina. I, I, will, I will pop the the thing back on and hearing the astrophysics thing i've <laughs> is it still going i'm not sure I don't know. but i will how, say how um does drabs talk about space to luger just... oh, it's just a little bit about spaghettification when you were talking cool. about doing a blind jump into space. gonna read richards me yeah okay um yeah, yeah. so you um... I, I will just say to them there's a ship i'll just say over the comms whether they hear me or not or whether i'm just going to keep going but i'll say hey guys there's a there's a ship inbound. I'm sure you've probably seen it. I don't know if it's friendly or not. Um, yeah, is Cheyenne is a suspicious call sign, uh, unusual signature. Don't trust it. I think they did not announce, did not respond to any of my distress calls. Hmm. Shit. Yeah, I suspect uh, maybe Black Ops. There is shit going on on this station. I think maybe someone is coming oh, to collect. Collect and clean house. Fuck. Um, can can you, you get to the ship? Boy, oh boy. I have things I need to do first. <laughs> uh, look, the, the ship is turning in like the, the, the hull is peeling off and there's skin underneath it's fucking disgusting and freaking me out i'm as soon as my ship is ready i'm getting the fuck out of here you tell the others so you, know. you do what you need to do okay. i hope you make it good luck i hope to see you on the other side for a vodka or something Okay, so you you land, you have to kind of scramble through some of the sort of bent wreckage. You're coming in from mm -hmm. the inside. Um, what concerns you the most is your, you think, like those tendrils, like the, the skin and the, the, the spines, muscles, veins, as you were like knocking off plating. You can mm -hmm. see that they've come out of... Um, out of the the walls and are, are like snaking and and growing towards everything on this deck as you kind of you probably have to kind of um push and drag maybe even get um like some sort of I mean, what is luga cutting got? torch yeah i mean let's see what she got um i've got yeah, a cutting torch got a cutting and a torch pistol and, and a jack and your jack um <clears throat> Yeah, you probably do have to get like your your cutting torch and maybe move parts of it. And the you sort of cut through some of the more organic looking stuff. There is like this this gooey kind of resin that kind of comes out. It's like pretty like at one point you're probably having to like peel yeah. it off your gloves, kind of things. Pretty quickly setting sort of stuff. Mm. Um, it's gross. Um, uh, it's <laughs> It's more akin to climbing through a, a living organism than it is to climbing through the the walls of a, uh, a station. Um, mm. You make your way through, um, and as you sort of look at, at the the Ceterina, um there on um, where you left her, um, where previously the last time you were here, and it was only it was only a couple of hours ago, like. Yep really a couple of hours ago yep. um you expected to maybe see like the the mess of of yogurt and um bits of gray all over the floor mm. like where you saw him last maybe the blood and the mess and and you know where your leg was My, yep. yeah <clears throat> um you're you're preparing yourself for a, a very sort of Ugh, moment yeah yeah uh and as you kind of come in and you look 
um, you can see that these tendrils, it's almost like a jungle, like it is all sort of moving down and towards and into your ship. Um, so it's like, is it visibly moving? Um, or is it like there and it's like so slow that you wouldn't see it by looking at it, but you turn around for five minutes, you turn back, it's moved. Do you want to make an observation roll to tell? Oh, not really. I just want to get to the ship. I don't care that much. I don't care enough. I want to get to the ship, okay. cutting torch, anything that so gets like... And cut, like and, yeah, I'm trying not to touch it, to be honest. I'm not going, oh, this is gross. Suit. It's freaking me out. The vision I had before, it's like, I'm like, ah, this is like all, it's like doubling up in my head. So I'm just like, yeah, still touching it. I, you know, it's just, I'm going to be um, cutting, torching as much yeah. as I can in front of me. Okay, so you you push your way through. The th- I think the thing that, that probably gets to, to Luger the most is... Um, that this thing seems to have gotten its way into everything. Um, even as you're getting back into the um, the um, airlock, like, you know, there's mm-hmm. a lift. I think we said there was like a lift that you went in yeah. and up or mm-hmm. that kind of stuff, a short sort of rather than dropping the whole kind of thing. Um, even as you kind of get in there, you can see bits of it, you know, like in between the the panels you can see yeah, the, yeah. the vines sort of sticking out and stuff um the fleshy I, vines yeah they're really really not at all gross vines um and so you you sort I'm of I'm thinking of the film Slither yeah, have you seen that? that yeah that kind of stuff that's gross it is that's, it's kind of yeah um and as you as you sort of move up to the deck, you can almost like hear and feel like the impediments to the lift, like it's having to kind of mm-hmm. cut through smaller things. And, mm-hmm. and you know, there's a moment knowing your ship. This is your home away from home, really. This is where mm. you spend more time than anything else. Um, knowing that the intricacies, like it takes only a second and a bit to get through this, but now it's yeah. just that tiny bit unsettlingly too long. Um, where do you head on your ship first? As it comes out onto this deck, uh, onto your your sort of main deck, where do you head? Uh, to the br- to the bridge. Okay. Run to the bridge to see check systems, see if you know there's any sign of grey, and get on the com. Okay. Um, let me just. Do I see? Do I step in like a sticky, transparent residue? When I go in, is there anything like that? Um, nothing, nothing immediate. Like obviously, like you can see, and the biggest concern you might have would be how much of this shit has got yeah. into your your systems and that kind of stuff. Um, as you sort of make your way through, it is obvious. Like this, this stuff has infected your ship. This is getting <sighs> into bits and pieces. Um, it's pushing its way through other things. Um. It it's sort of um tendrils invading everything. And and as you um as you make your way towards um the bridge, you you sort of look around um and you realize that somebody has been like whether it's been Grey or or somebody else, um Somebody has been on your bridge and switched off all sort of audible alarms on the on the set arena. Switched off like the, you know, like the mother would be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. this kind of stuff. Switched it off. Um, and almost as you, you kind of look around, noticing things are out of place, not definitely not where you left them. You know, I imagine there's like a coffee cup over here that you leave or, you know, a water bottle with that kind of stuff. And things are are scattered about the nodding sort of heads are, are kind of, yeah, it's, it's unsettlingly invaded. Um, As you kind of look around, um, some of the screens are on, some of the screens are off. uh, And you can see there is a scattering of, of kind of like yogurt over one area of the the bridge near where um i guess where you're going near the computer the the uh communications okay well i'll, I'll whack my 
team comms on and be like, Gray, Gray. No, no reply. It's like a headless gray somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> just um, bumping into things. Maybe I'm he's teamed take... up with Lark. <laughs> I'm gonna um I'm gonna take my put my cutting torch away and get my gun out. Mm-hmm. When you say turn the alarms off, do I think someone has come in and just switch there's like the master alarm has been switched off on the on the control panel? Or have the tendrils come inside the machine and turn the alarms off? Um, do you want to make a Comtech roll? Yeah. Let's check over all the systems and stuff. Uh, I've got two of those and two face huggers. So I will make my stress roll. Order two plus five is seven. The seven is that a nervous twitch? Shaking. Um, yeah. You're shaking as you, you kind of look over the stuff. Somebody has been in here um, and um, made it so the set arena will not um, not announce any, any sort of... Um, problems. Problems or, or any sort of, like, you know, um, ship capacity at 100 percent no it won't give status updates to um the Erebus station so nobody can get that kind of information and also oh, okay also sort of taken out um a bunch of the communications um like disabled them so you would have to spend some time to put them back on before you would uh be able to communicate with someone like if you were planning a trip you'd have time to do that if you're just sure. sort of, <laughs> Like planning a in, trip let's in go an emergency and you didn't know it was off you would so, have to spend more time panicking over it so a good thing and a bad thing so we're not telling Erebus our situation no but also with disabled communications mm-hmm. and i slam my fist against the thing and go son of a bitch <laughs> <laughs> just like fuck i look around can I, just like i'm a bit paranoid now for these creepy things lines, if yeah. they're all through the ship um you could um i guess it would probably be the um oh, let me have find my sort of um, life signs detected in yes so, yeah one. is there anything like that do we have like a sensor thing for internal sensors that says like problems in this area yeah i think it would be um uh an observation role but <laughs> Get in and make so many bloody rolls. Can I just turn the thing on and go? No. Um, but you get um, what? What's the ship? Let me because uh, the ship has got an AI, I think, which would help. Wait, let's look at the spaceship. Yay! Not the cherry on. Safina. Um, yeah, it's got artificial intelligence, um, so I reckon you could have plus two for that. It's got basics. Okay, okay. It's gonna gonna give you some good intel, hopefully. Uh, two successes. Excellent. Um, so you you sort of um, you sort of go over it. You run through sort of the, um, like, and I guess it's not, not necessarily like the Star Trek style life signs detected and that kind of yeah, stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Um, it's <clears throat> more like um, heat signature detected, you know, that you know, outer, mm-hmm. sp- and it, and the uh, the AI can then pair it down and go, oh, that would be a person, and that would be a cat. Chemical compounds detected. Yeah, that's, that's the breath of a xenomorph. Yeah. Um, so it's like um, unassigned, um, yeah, unassigned heat signatures in uh, engineering. Um, um, where else? Let me just check. Where else? Uh oh. Yeah. Un- yeah. Unassigned um, uh, heat signatures in engineering um, um, and cargo bay. Um, and right behind you. <laughs> um, and. Co pilot seat. Co-pi- yeah. Mother interface. <laughs> uh, no. Yeah. Un- unassigned. Um, 
heat signatures in Cargo Bay, Engineering, um, and Cryo Deck. Shit, it's not a very big ship. Um, um, your AI okay. says, says it's either three rather chunky people, or it could be maybe five or six of mixed size. <laughs> Just going to like bang my faceplate against the monitor in front of me and be like, <sighs> are the main engines working? Um, are you, you like tap in the odd command and you check through mm. that. Um, and you like power flow to the yeah. main uh, engine and stuff FTL, like that. FTL primed, um, ignition Ooh. sequence started. Uh, okay. What method is the FTL here? Would if the FTL drive activated, wouldn't I just jump through a black hole? Um, Or would it possibly get me out of here? It, it, it's one of those things where it accelerates up to a speed. Okay. So you have like... Yeah. Um, Gets you to super luminal yeah, percentage of light speed. Yeah, it accelerates you faster. That's the, like, I think if I remember okay. properly. Chat will tell us in a minute. Like, if we give them sure. a moment, they'll, they'll catch up and tell us. But um, um it but would yeah. mean getting out of here. It would, yes. Whilst okay. carrying a cargo. Whilst yeah, a cargo, <clears throat> a healthy cargo. Um, we're quite wedged into the ship, into the station, though, aren't we? Mm -hmm. So if I just like fired all the maneuvering thrusters, could I push the station into the black hole? Um, it's a distinct possibility. Yes, because my ship is. Uh, I'm just checking the status update. It's fucked. Uh, so. Uh, <laughs> We're all fucked. So here we go. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I assume that shutting down the FTL drive will arouse suspicion. So what I might do is get it to recalculate the trajectory, or you know, something within itself. Okay. Yeah. That will something... take some time. Sure. You know, uh, to that, that whoever's in the engine room. I don't want to know. Uh, <laughs> uh, you know. Uh, I might then go and lock the door to this room. Okay. Yep. Uh, and then, like, quickly, not like, you know, I'll no, run no. over, boom, smash the thing. Oh, okay, no. yeah, emergency, like, um, yeah. seal the deck kind of yeah. thing. And then run over to the, the seat and just just press all the thruster buttons. All right. Uh, to, to start pushing it. Cause... Start shaking the ship down. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Um, give us it's your ship and you can lock it up. I think we need a, a Comtech roll to um, make that kind of roll, make that kind of changes. Um, Kowski. That's Luger. Um, and because you've got a Starship mechanic, you get a plus two to your modification, modification. I can use my story point after I roll, can't I? Yes, yes you can. Yeah. Okay. So I've got five contact plus two, that's seven plus five, that's 12 dice. Okay. Um, now, if I use my story point after, does that mean I ignore any face huggers I roll? Or does it just give me an extra? It just gives you an extra success. Mm. Mm. Okay, here we go. Why not? Let's give it a go. Oh. Two successes. Nice. No face huggers. Oh. Awesome. All right. So, so yeah, you make your way over. You punch in, and maybe this is um, uh, like maybe it, it's something that Luger's had sort of in her back pocket in case she didn't want to go on a, a registered flight plan or yeah, know, she yeah. wanted to. I'm not saying there are a lot of trawler captains who do piracy, but you know. Also, Luger's had ulterior stuff going on the whole time. So, like, mm -hmm. I may have needed to get out of something if I'd heard about something. Yeah. You know, at a certain time. So, like, some kind of recursive algorithm that I can deploy in the in the FTL drive. So it's kind of just looping for a while. Yeah. Um, and um, you are 
prepared and ready to like once you've finished sort of setting up your boom so moving through the chute is navarre flying upwards towards drabakowski um when we when we were last in the chute there was these things crawling up and down remember and we dived out just to be like yikes um can Navar Navar... got to ops and i told him to go away oh did he oh yeah excellent. he was coming to steal my gun and i said bugger off oh okay so Navar, lock the door you're you're outside ops uh, and drabakowski won't let you in is okay. that right is that where we were yeah and, I, and i'm going to i'm going to uh use my signature item mm. uh, lose the stress and open the door and walk in and then close the door behind me Navar's signature item oh okay um so you we in a pocket on your on your like suit that or you know it's maybe concealed behind something else yeah Pull out a, a little piece of plastic looks suspiciously like one of those cards that burke gave ripley kind of thing looks a bit like one of them you look at it do you does he smile does this old guy smile for a moment no because he's got serious stuff to do okay this, this so, isn't this yeah so he, he he gives a sigh almost like regrettable that he's had to, to do this um and like you you tap it and nft your way into the to the airlock kind of thing yeah. and it, it says Drabakowski, as you you sort of like deny airlock cycle kind of thing, it says um, uh, permission overrode, uh, level one access granted. Um, and Drabakowski, you see Navar come into the airlock oh, and uh, finishes its cycle. Uh, do you strip off from your um, your suit in the airlock? No. You keep it on. No. Yeah, but as I'm coming through, I, I will. I will. Um... I will I will say to Drabakowski, um, I can't do it. You see, I just can't do it. I'll 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 try. I'll try. Okay. I think Drabakowski, we need to have a conversation. Right? You may have heard of me. I am Colonel Doctor. Uh, I've got to read it. Bartolo Abijan of the UPP Ministry of Space Security. What? And then I'll come through the door into the room and then you okay well to... i will have pulled a gun <laughs> <laughs> that's okay i figured you were gonna pull a gun because i'd be dopey not to at this stage yeah, yeah, yeah. sure um i thought you're just I'll a psycho not a colonel and then i'll close the door <laughs> As dr colonel psycho to you yeah. <laughs> i mean at the last one we met in Kurt, um in um the uh frontier war he wasn't the best of chaps no, no, my second guy wasn't, but the first guy was amazing. He was just brilliant. Yeah. He was a lovely man. No, I'm talking about we met the we met a, uh, a colonel. Oh, so doctor. we did, we um, did meet a colonel doctor, and they're not yeah. very nice. He wasn't, no. He yeah. died though, didn't he? So. He did die. Yeah. yeah. You may you may have wondered how I know so much about Navarre. I, I am intrigued, but uh, do you have any way to prove this? Um, do you mind if I sit down? I am kind of bleeding inside my suit. Go ahead, but I'm not putting the gun away just yet. You don't need to put the gun away. Um, I'll ask. I'll put over. I say. I'll say. Uh, uh, can you just broadcast uh, uh, for uh, Sub Lieutenant Kluger on the comms? Open comms. Negative. Uh, there is whale and ship incoming. No, there is um, Sub Lieutenant Pluga incoming. For which vessel? Um, just put out the signal. And if it isn't him, then he won't answer. Very well, as you request, Colonel Doctor. Um, and I will calm the ship using MSS ident codes. Okay. Um, um... So there is a moment that goes past, um, and the from the so we're pinging the dropship, the Cheyenne that's yeah. coming towards us, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, 
and it comes back and it says um you hear the voice that you've you've oh, have you heard her voice yeah Trebikowski? no i read her text read te so you hear this um this lady's voice come back um fluga and she says uh colonel doctor can you confirm um that we have iron fish Trebikowski, can we confirm that we have iron fish the entire station is iron fish Iron Fish is the station. It is the project. It is the listening post. They have been spying on us. I have jammed frequencies. They cannot broadcast transmission. Um, uh, uh, can you tell Fluga um, to lock on to Navarre's, uh, um, what's it called? Uh, PDT. On to his PDT and, um, and fire missiles. Oh, now? you left it in the dock below, didn't you? Not a lot of them, but enough. Colonel Doctor, there is uh, something you should know as well. Tell me after you've sent the message. I do not want to damage the station too much at this stage because I am already engaged in a process to damage it myself. I'm about to dump the entire station into the black hole. That's nice for you. Um, I, I, I want to get off the station. And I have I'm going a route to get out. Eh? I already have a route out. I have run the calculations. We can leave from operations. The entire station will fall. I have all of the data on their other projects. We do not have time, though, because Luger is trying to escape at the minute. Is he? She. I don't, I don't trust. Yeah, she. I don't trust Luger. Well, um, I did not trust you because I thought you were here spying on me. Or tell Sub-Lieutenant Fluger to fire, fire rockets on the, uh, what's our ship called? Uh, Cetrina. On the Cetrina. Uh, I the don't trust Luger. Yeah, yeah, I don't trust Luger. I will let you make that call. We are equal in rank. I disagree with this suggestion. Um, I will. I will go to the comms uh -huh. and I will tell Sub Lieutenant Fluger, um, fire on the. What's it called? Ceterina. Ceterina. Fire on the Ceterina. Fire on the operations. That's what you want to Millie, tell. Me. I might accidentally leave a comm line open to Luger when. <clears throat> oh, okay. X Navarre is doing that. Um. Yeah. Uh. Let's. Let's make a, a quick Comtech roll, Jabikowski. See if that that works. Like, you can do it, like, with, you know, Alt F4, tab it so it doesn't show up on the screen. That kind of th stuff. One, two, three, and four, but possibly a face hugger. Nope. Five right. on my stress dice. Nice, nice. Yeah, it's not like it's not a problem. So as you're as you're there in your captain's chair, like, you know, this is trawler captain Luger, last <laughs> pilot on this goddamn but you know, whatever you're trying to work out in your head, you hear like the static or the, the shift the, the, the comms open. Um and what what does he hear Navarre say? Um uh, this is Connell Dr. Bartolo. Abidjan, um, authorization, uh, destroy the Severina. Um, a voice, if that's the ship, I keep forgetting. Yeah. I've not written it down. And you hear, then you hear like um, uh, another woman's voice come out. Um, a voice authorization confirmed. Uh, Colonel Doctor, we will begin um, calculations and fire upon the Severina. Uh, stand by. Fuck you all. <laughs> that you just like so what's it? just what's an it? outburst just like fuck you all i'm like trying to think of my final words to my grandfather that i'm going to send out on some kind of message buoy and all i hear is this and i'm like fuck off just um, we're gonna whack those buttons in a minute yeah as um as you and you're you're like you're like up here somewhere in operation and luga's down here with the crash satarina um 
and then the ship is like somewhere you can't see because my finger will go off screen as it sort of moves close and it gets sort of um of, uh, around there is um a shift i need everybody to make a, a mobility roll oh dear i'm sitting down all right you can um <laughs> It's all right. Can, it's all right. It's all right. You I'm can not spend two of your dice. You can keep got, two of nah, your dice. No, nah, that's of fine. I've got plenty. Of, I've got five agility, so I'm all right. All right. Uh, I'm only rolling my six stress dice. Oh, I Do you think, still roll? I think well, there's. I don't. Don't think you're allowed to roll if you've got zero. Because because basically I have four. I have four agility. I get so currently I am trembling, which mm -hmm. is my current stress level because I've not. No one's. I've not reduced my stress, so I get no, minus because two. Because you used your um... signature item. Oh yeah, yeah, signature, signature item. So I reduced it to six, but I'm not. I thought you still. All right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So six, not seven. That's yeah. cool. Oh, that's right. I get one. Okay, there we go. Oh, uh, two, no, two. That's fine. I, was... I didn't get any successes, but I didn't get any face huggers. Can I push to try? If you and... want, yeah, up your stress level again, and you can roll everything that wasn't a. Uh... Success. Whereas I got the opposite, I got three successes, but I got three face huggers as oh, well, which is impressive yeah. on four you dice. Only make um, one panic roll. Yeah. Well, I got two successes and a face hugger. Nice. I rolled a two again. Okay, well, I got a nine on my stress on my stress roll. Oh wow! That's drop what you're holding, isn't it? Yeah. I got eight on my stress. Nice. Which is trembling. So I'm trembling. Seven's trembling, isn't it? No, eight's trembling. Seven's oh, eight's nervous trembling. twitch. Oh, yeah. yeah. I got and nine another is twitch. drop something then. Yeah, yeah. So I'll drop my nine hand. Nine is crap your, your pants. And your stress increases by one. And my stress goes up by one. All right. So. But do I still make the. Mobility? Yeah, so if you roll a 10 or more, that you fail. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like you freeze. Yeah, I think it's only if you start freezing and stuff. Yeah. To you. All right, so um, Drabakowski, like the whole station sort of shakes and lurches. Um, um, and you, you sort of lean, we do the Shatner kind of wobble, um, and your your little concealed gun sort of scatters across. And you see well, it, like, it was in my hand. So. Yeah, it sort of flies out your hand, sh scatters across the floor. Uh, Luga, what happened over on the Saturnina? You passed? I passed, but I, had a, I have a twitch. Pash, you sort of yeah. pump, you can feel like mm. this this whole situation just getting to you. Navar, Blood loss, I'm going, I'm, I'm yeah, nearly dead. <laughs> nearly dead. Uh, Navar, did you um, pass? So I passed, but I got, I've got, um, I'm trembling. Okay, so you pass in your, your old yeah. man, blood loss legs, sort yeah. of make you kind of quake. Um, and, and as you sort of, the folks in ops, as you sort of look, um, as you sort of uh, kind of watch um, all sort of um, warning lights go off all around uh, the station, you know, disconnected from power, power to section three, so they're disconnected, power section to blah, 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 disconnection, air supply to blah, 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 disconnection, water systems down, blah, 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 blah. Everything sorts, you can see this massive cascade going on. Um, and as um, like the the external cams and internal cams kind of show everything around the station, it's almost as if parts of it um, are wrenching themselves self away, removing, um, becoming like limbs, um, tentacles, that kind of thing. Uh, and the open line to to Fluga um, is like uh, evasive movers, evasive. I don't care. Initiate it. And you can hear like just panic and, you know, shouts in probably German and Russian and everything going on. Um, and the little, the little uh, transponder that we can track that we've sort of, you know, unidentified vessel kind of thing. Um, it, it suddenly kind of um, moves and it moves um, right in fast towards the station. Uh, almost as if something from the station has reached out, these massive arms or tentacles of the station have reached out towards a threat and dragged it in. And the whole station shakes um, and there is just nothing but static and um, 
no, 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 this will screw up all of my math. Yeah. I'm going to have to recalculate. Um, I'm assuming this is where Luger just goes, fuck it. Push yeah, that bit in the Goonies where they're playing that death piano and they just hammer all the keys at once and it goes, Barrr! I'm imagining something similar. I'm just pressing all of the thruster buttons I can and everything, <clears throat> everything just... goes off. Yeah. Um, yeah, so as this thing grabs the, um, the Cheyenne, which isn't actually a Cheyenne, it's a, um, looks similar, but it is uh, the UPP Asipita. It's a Cheyenne-ski. Yeah, the, it's a UPP Asipita, so, uh, and the profile is, mm-hmm. as you look at it, um, very similar. Sneaky, sneaky yeah. UPPs. Um, it's dragged it in, like Luger's sort of, begins this kind of spin like it you know almost pushing the the station into this cascade kind of thing everybody falls and staggers um as you sit there um luger you you sort of the movement the shake and that kind of thing um as you look across your your deck you see like things tumble things smash um, and remember the things that the the person sort of commanded, the thing that crushed and killed your leg. Mm-hmm. You see like it contorting and coming through a grill on the other side of your bridge. Like the, the air kind of <coughs> just loosen. All right, make, um, what is it? Uh, ranged combat roll? Is there anywhere near it a, uh, a window that if I... Gas? Oh no, uh, a container of gas or a window if I shot through it might get sucked out into the void of space. No, um but oh there are rules for that, aren't there? Doesn't that only work on pink aliens? Or if I use the story point. <laughs> Did it trade a story point in to create a vacuum on your bla- on your bridge? Well they've they've done it's been crashed. It's, we've crashed, haven't we? Oh, finally. Finally he admits it. <laughs> Um, if it's gonna help. <laughs> it's gonna help um you it's know cool. what uh i will take it because um as you you do that you fire you're like i fucking cheaped out when i bought this why won't you explode kind of thing can i salute my arm through the the seats like a ripley yeah yeah and just be like yeah you do this you shoot yeah. the 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 plate on the side of the the set arena like comes free um, you see, like, as, like, all of the atmosphere that's in the, the room kind of blasts out things, scrabble, and, and that kind You're of You're not stuff. taking my ship, motherfuckers! And it comes through the window. I'm going to destroy it myself! <laughs> <laughs> Damn straight. <laughs> um, you, you watch as this thing scrabbles. Um, it's got that cool moment where it sort of holds onto the edge, and then, like, a, a, a log book or something smacks it and... and... A gun. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Wrench up the, the thing. Um and after after a few moments, um, like everything drops, like the atmosphere is decompressed, your mm-hmm. suit is like beeping, like you know, only so long left. Uh suit compromise, that kind of stuff. Um and you uh you sit. Do you do you construct uh, you know, this is Luga? moment do you have it do you record it yeah i record something for my grandfather um uh, a message out about my great aunt um uh, and kind of giving trying to give some kind of you know little um uh closure for him Mm -hmm. you know having found her but not giving all the details away Okay. Kind of, kind of thing, and maybe a sign off as well. You know, I don't know where it's going. <laughs> I don't think it's going anywhere. I don't think we're going to hear it at the end of the end of the episode. But okay. if I have a message buoy, I will just press that fire button just in case. Yeah. It, you know. Um. Okay. So you there's and we can't hear it because it's inside your helmet. We can just see it like mm. talking and like yeah, yeah. like trying a thing. And then there's there's this moment where it's like send out boy, send out probe, and just this thing kind of jetsons out through the hole into space. Um, what's happening up in operations as Luger is like there's been a, a moment. The the sign from from the um from Fluger 
they've not returned comms. There's been some massive explosions. Their transponder's gone dark. There's been some things. And as I guess the station would, would announce it, like unstable or, orbit, um, insufficient um, fuel to stabilize uh, um, emergency EEVs on decks, blah, 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 compromised. Emergency EEVs on deck. I think there's one other place that isn't compromised. We wanted to be, um, wanted to try and get there. It lists a deck that's a couple down from us, um, still, still active. What, happened? what about astrometrics? How, how is astrometrics looking? Because that was the, that was my plan. And it's the furthest away from mm -hmm. the epicenter of alien goo and likely to have its own shuttle was what was my thinking. It doesn't have to have one. Emergency separation feature. Yeah. Can we get in the saucer section? <laughs> um, I'm going to uh, I'm going to look at the uh, at Drabakowski as he's dropped his gun and say, Drabakowski, pull it together. You dropped your gun. And I'm going to roll my dice to command him to pull yeah. it together. Uh, and I got two successes. Oh, so is that um, is that that a reduced for stress? Oh no, we yeah, don't have. We well, well, it's a command. It's well. There's a there's a um. You, there's there's a an ability. Talent for there's it. a talent for it. But I think if you just command some, if, it, if I don't you think you can do it with just command. To give, isn't it? Give someone an extra action or something. Mm -hmm. in yeah, combat. it gives them a bonus oh, if they the do the one. thing yeah, that yeah, you yeah, told yeah, them yeah. to do. Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. more. It was more about the fact that it was like I'm not going for your gun. Okay. You know. Same I'm team. Not, but I'll yeah. pick up the gun and holster it again in the um, invisible holster. <laughs> this is what I hate about MSS. This could have been clear to me at the start of the mission. Instead, we have these games within games. We need to get to operation, to not to operation, we're in operation. We need to get to astrometrics. I'm going to have to rerun calculations. I had idea to spin station and break off operation of astrometrics deck to allow us for escape. I will have to see if it's still even possible. Okay. Looks like your rescue ship may not be rescuing us. No, indeed. Um, is there, there are um, life pods, aren't there? Currently, looking like no. Depends on. Yeah, there is. There is one downstairs. Yeah, I just wondered if if we could use the if once you've once you've twisted the thing off, you could use the uh, jettisoning in the like jettisoning the life pod as a as your thrust thrust or yeah. essentially the thrust on the life pod to life pod won't provide enough thrust uh was going to use the remaining thrust on the station to move it towards the black hole all right here is fun fact you know erebus yes erebus is a greek idea of like dark evil hell place uh much like chernobog and they named station this what are they thinking Maybe they just don't know Greek. Fearful. Call themselves scientists. Fearful. Um, so we, um, as you look over this, it doesn't seem like um, astrometrics has been compromised. At least it's got an oxygen reading. Um, it's got a muster point in there. It doesn't have any um, EEVs or cryo or anything in it. Um, it is a it is a newer addition to the station. Um, probably would know. Um, and it does yes, have so it's supposed to be working there. Yeah, it does have storm shielding um, and that kind of stuff on it. So, of all the sort of muster points on the station, it might be the best one. Okay, we use the entire astrometrics deck as life boy. Okay, I'm going to fire thrusters to move the station. Already Which moving. Will... Yeah. yeah, it's going to move more. <laughs> I'm going to move station so that it breaks off astrometrics. We will need to get there quickly. Can you move? Yeah, I can move. Um, is there anything? I'm just trying to think if there's, any, if there's any supplies in this part of the, in, in observation that might be of any use. 
already looked through everything. Luger went through everything. Gun locker is empty. Suit locker is empty. So I suppose, right, well... Might um, be remains of Lark outside, but also might be alien creature, bioweapon. Yeah. Well, let's go. All right, Millie, can I um, mm -hmm. fire off the thrusters according to my maths and sure. try and rip the station, not in half, but rip the top of the station off? Try and pitch it so that you might survive. Yeah. Um, yeah. Okay. Give me... Um... We already done a roll for this. Mind me. That we've done the. We we did some preliminary stuff towards it with taking control of the drives and stuff like that. We definitely did a roll to build up to it in okay. one of the previous sessions. All right. So if you would have got more than one success, I think it's at this stage, like it. It's not going to be elegant. Um, because Luger has messed up your calculations. It was perfect. It would have given you enough time to move. Luger firing the the thrusters um means you, rather than a, a comtech roll we're really gonna have a mobility roll to see if you can get there um rather than anything else um so yeah you fire it it says it gives you like some sort of snarky comment like um mass change means you know it basically it's like math changing mass of station prevents this working in uh, do, do you wish to continue kind of thing like snarky snarky moment from uh data entire nation requires damn safety protocols on everything yes 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 um and yeah all right we're gonna make um we're gonna make a mobility roll as we dive out of operations jump up the um the shoot one last time and try and get into astrometrics uh astrometric observatory a place where we have not yet been we do not know the condition of, um, and hope... It might be the least safe place on the station. There could hope... be an entire alien queen in there. Everything is fine. Um, yeah. But I'm sure there isn't. Everything's going to be great in there. Yeah. Queen, alien queen, alien queen. <laughs> <laughs> alien queen, and she's the one that escapes and goes and eats um, Max and, you know, go and eats um, uh, everybody on that one. It's her, the captive one. Uh, all right, yeah, both of you, let's have um, mobility rolls. Hello, that's what we're talking about. That's two sixes on my stress die and no stress on my stress die. And three successes, so five in total, unless my zero G training kicks in. I mean, it is zero, tri zero G, so you probably will get two more dice. Sweet ass. Well, there's no successes on those, but I'll, so I'll have to make do with five successes. Excellent. How does Navar do? Uh, I got two, and I had to push. But okay. luckily, I haven't got any face huggers, so I was like, I didn't have to roll those dice again. Excellent. Um, so this is, like, I, do the UPP have our base station is falling into a black hole and you must evacuate to astrometrics drills as kids or something? Because both of you are just like, all right, you do this, I'll do this, you do this. Like there is a, a an efficiency at getting up there that um, is unprecedented. Um, well, bad for I'm an old actually, codger. Yeah. I'm not actually seventy four. It was you know I'm a little bit younger. Surgery. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna peel the rubber mask off. Yeah. All right. So How you did you get that beard under the mask? <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we we move out, we sail up, we keep like we use the the momentum of like the ship, the station shaking around us to push us along, um, float up. It's like a, a horrible scene in a space station, you know, where you see them and they're all in this white, graceful floating. This is like blood is dripping from bits of Navar's suit, kind of thing, and. Um, we get to the airlock. We Navars taps there. It automatically grants access. No need for any sort of um, Drabikowski stuff. Stuff. Um, you know, this would have been useful for me. Yeah, I'll look at the gun and say that would have been useful for me. <laughs> this is what you should have told me. And my um, mission, my mission was to allow you 
to uh, succeed or fail on your own. Games within games. Okay. And we open the door into astrometrics. Um, a couple of things strike you as you uh, open this door. Um, first up, it's quite a cramped space. Um, it doesn't look um, like more than maybe three or four scientists can get around this kind of place. Um, all the windows um, uh, on each of the four walls so it has big, big windows, um, and they all have these um, sh um, shield shutters. Um, they're all closed, except for the one directly opposite you, the one that stares kind of into the... Um, black hole and it seems to be like up and it's stuck like opening and closing like there's some sort of malfunction creating this strange kind of strobe light in the in the room um uh cool. yeah i know it's cool. wicked that'll allow for the stop motion alien to look much more realistic yes <laughs> yes it will um except it's not an alien um that is in there as you you sort of watch um this this nest of clothes sort of moves as you've disturbed them from their sleep um let me just kittens kittens yeah <laughs> as you disturb these, these oh. beautiful little kittens in their sleep um, and you're distracted stroking them for the next half an hour and you get swallowed up by the black hole yeah, absolutely. <laughs> might not have so much stress Kittens are a win condition. <laughs> yeah, that's yeah. actually, that's what it says. It says if you can find kittens on Erebus Station. Um, yeah, as this, this, um, this thing uh, unfolds from the nest uh, it's created, um, with like a strange sort of grace in the, in the um, strobe. Um, who went through the door first? Was it um, Navar or was it uh, Drabikowski? <laughs> I think Navar opened the door, so I think it would have been Navar. Navar got in, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you open it, um, and it... it yeah, like... it was Navar, definitely, says yeah, Ben. <laughs> and I'm, and I'm the, I'm the, I just I'm said the, I would have gone in. I'm, I'm the least required one. But if well, you, you, do have, you do have the gun, though, don't you? Yeah, plus, you know, policy is if one person opens the door, the other one goes in, was what I was yeah, thinking. I suppose that would be it. You, you opened yeah, it, I'd so open I the probably door would have gone in first. You'd gone in first, yeah. Yeah, um, there you go. Drabakowski's in first. Shut the door, Navar. <laughs> no, no, we're all if Drabakowski dies, I can't do the math. All right, so so as the the kind of um thing rises up, um there is this this horrible sort of whistling, but you can hear it quite clearly in your head. It like echoes through your your brain. Um like like this piercing sort of call. Um and um Navarre or sorry, um uh what is it? Um Jabakowski. No, Navarre's real name. Um, oh Bartolo. Colonel um, Yeah, Bartolo. Bartolo, as you sort of stand there, um um there is no sound obviously because we've established that the chute is full of um uh, vacuum. We needed yeah. our suits to traverse it. As you sort of turn around you look down and those shapes that you saw moving that you left Cecil to yeah. negotiate with. Yeah, 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 yeah. Not so far below you, you can see more crawling oh. their way up. Um, okay. Let's, and, lock, let's get inside and lock that door again. Yeah, get inside and lock that door. Um, I, need, um, I need to draw some initiative. Have you got your cards there, Simon? Um, I no, because I dropped them all, all over the place. <laughs> They're all over the floor. I got, I got the Vessen ones. Oh, yeah, let's use the Vessen ones. They're pretty. All right. Uh, uh, they're, they're still in order, so I will have to uh, reshuffle. <laughs> so I'll go first. <laughs> and Simon can have number two. <laughs> and Millie can have three, four, and five. And six and seven. Hang on. Let me just check. All right. First one. Who wants the first one? Uh, yeah, I want the first one. Is ten. Good, good call. 
Uh, Melly, do you want the second one? Yeah, I have a second one. It's two. two. Write this down. I will have the third one. Uh, it's, one. Four. it's four. Oh, four. And how many do you need still? I need um two more for <clears throat> two more for the chap in front of you. Uh, and that? Two that? Oh, you got one. Good skills. Well right. done. One, two, and so you got one and two. And I need another one for him. You get to. And you need three. another one for him. It's three. Oh, nice. Um, <laughs> so much for my shuffling skills. That's good shuffling. I like it. Yeah. And then um, the the chaps who are the the scrabbly things they need two. They need two. Do they? Right. Okay. Well, they can have. Um, is that six and seven? Nice. Excellent. Um, all right. So initiative initiative one. He's just sort of stood there. Uh, this piercing noise has gone through everybody's brain. Um, then, um, um, hmm, hmm. Then, um, Drabikowski, he just sort of stands, stares at you for a moment. Um, it's quite offsetting, off-putting. But as um, as you're all in your suit still, uh, whatever is uh, happening, you're not entirely certain whether there is some sort of extra thing going on, which I suppose is quite lucky. Um, and it continues to stare at you. Uh, and I need you to make uh, a wit roll. Um, just the attribute, not the skill. No skill. Um, Stress die? Uh, nice. No, just just the just wits. Just wits. Oh, thank goodness for science! I get two successes. Excellent. Um, so yeah, he just this this thing sort of rises out of the nest um, in front of you, and for a very long moment, um, just sort of stares at you. Um, thank you, science. Just sort of stares, almost sizing you up. It's slightly off-putting, but not off-putting enough uh, that you think um, he's going to do anything. I am glad that I'm not a Marine at this moment. Yeah? <laughs> You're going to kill everything in the room because of overkill otherwise? No, no, because um, it meant I had a wits attribute of five. Oh, yes, yeah, they're not very... <laughs> oh, wow. For bad. being a science. Uh, then, yeah. So that was one, two, and three. Uh, Simon, did you get four? No, oh, I got no, I did. Oh, Drabikowski. Yes. Go. I would like to spend my remaining story points mm -hmm. to throw this guy out the door. Okay. Just, you know, using our momentum from our zero G, a little bit of zero G training going on in there. Just grab him and kind of hoy him out through the door. Is that a thing I could do with a story point? I mean, you could certainly like how many how many story points you got two? I think I've only got the one left. Yeah, right. I've only got one. I think it'd be like an opposed mobility role because it's like a. You can do of... um, shoving as a close. You can do grappling or shoving as a close combat. Yeah. Okay. But you could you could do it for that. I could do it as a close combat role and then potentially add the story point if I need to. Then yes. Yes, definitely. So is it... Um, or you could just do it as a... And say I got one success on it. Which is still going to be opposed. Yeah. And I suspect it's probably going to get more than one success. It's got more than one dice for it. Yeah. So is it um, mobility or close combat you want me to do? Um, I think yours would be close combat, wouldn't it? Yeah. That's what the, the shove is. Two, four. Okay. Fingers crossed, kiddos. This is where being a MSS agent comes in handy as well, though. All that mm. secret training, yeah. Mm. Oh, good. No face huggers. And two successes. Oh, okay. So you're the attacker, which means yep. um, you would succeed because he's defending. So you would, it always goes in your favor because he also got two um, on his. Uh, but in the, in the sort of push and shove of it all, um you wrench this maybe like some some judo rolls and all that kind of shenanigans or whatever whatever um oh it wouldn't be judo because that would be the three world empire we wouldn't do that 
Mm, no. Um, Krav Maga or whatever is going on. We wrangle this this thing, this person, this um, monster out past Navarre, sends him out into the into the chute, um, and it's just sort of like flung momentum into the wall beyond. Um, uh, let me have a look. Where are these? No, up a bit. Up a bit. Oh, there you go. It's called ARB. Okay. Armeski uh, Rukopashni Boy, which is army hand-to-hand -hand combat. Nice. Cool Developed stuff. in the 1970s and tested with Soviet airborne troops. Excellent. Um, so there is this, this stuff. Uh, Navarre has the good sense to sort of stand on a ledge with this NFT thing still on the door. Um, and let's see, what do these, what do these monsters do? Um, they are, because he summoned them then, um, they all, you can hear them scrabbling their way up the, up the outside. Well, you can't hear them because obviously there's no oxygen, but you can literally feel the vibrations of their, their fingers, their nails, their teeth, whatever they're using to climb up. What do you do, um, Bartello? Bartello? Yeah. Um, I'll, I'll, um... Close the door! <laughs> yes, step in, close door. Okay. Um, you step into the room, you use your thing to close the door, you, you seal yeah. it, um, and then you can hear um, this terrible sort of wrenching. It's like, you know, Drabikowski's, um firing protocols, a kickoff, there's a warnings going left and right, power supply uh, broken, auxiliary batteries at 10%. This kind of stuff in um, astrometrics kicking off. Uh, Luger, you can like you can see like I know the deck outside was was trashed when you park mm -hmm. the ship, but you can see all kinds of flashing lights going on and these cool. limbs, these tentacles trying to wrap themselves around the edge of your the screen you've blown out, um, and things sort of curling in and the. You watch maybe on some sort of small hollow display on the side of your captain's chair as it's like warning, like fatal, um, fatal trajectory uh, detected. Make adjustments now. Please exit to the nearest life pods, kind of thing. Um, as the whole of the the sort of Erebus is is kind of caught up in the the sort of final sort of swings of the black hole. Uh, the station sort of feels like it's tearing itself apart. You can hear and feel like thumping and banging on the door behind you on the on the bridge. Somebody clearly wants to get into you um, and stop it. Um, there is, um, there is. I she would actually. She, does she look in on the the CCTV of her her ship to see what's going on? Now she's had a yeah, moment. Yeah, yeah. Because yeah. um, I've realised now it's all burning. It's all going towards the black hole, and I'm about to sit for infinity. So I'm gonna, um, shit, you know, it's gonna take a long time, folks. It's uh, uh, us next week for episode fifteen of <laughs> black hole of, of staring at a screen. Luger accelerates to light speed. Yeah. <laughs> spaghettification. Um, yeah. Um, so I try to save you, Luger, from spaghettification. I think we're all getting spaghettified. Yeah, probably. Um, <laughs> as you you sort of look, you can see um, in the corridor outside where you've where you've like sealed the bridge to mm -hmm. you know um, end of um, prevent takeover, you know yep. mutiny, whatever might be going on out there. Um, you can see there is um, two of these, these you know, the one that sort of loomed over you, these perfected yep. beings, um, two of them, and they are like Kirk smashing against the door kind of thing. Oh, yeah. Double-handed um, punch. Double-handed fist slaps kind of stuff. Um, and as you watch, like the shadows behind change, and one of them... Um, comes up to to behind them as you think it's about to like join so there's three of them it swings and smashes its fists into one of the heads you see it sort of smash 
into the into the side and you watch for a moment um as there is this kind of brutal kind of fight going on in your corridor between three of them one of them turns the this one this sort of um the do one, i recognize it um it, i mean it's hard on these old cathode ray yeah it's true true hard yeah um um, and I'm probably like woozy. Yeah. Woozy and, and thinking about just turning my oxygen off. Ending it. Turn it up. That's a much better trick. Oh yeah, yeah. Get uh, off your face on it and then suck it. Yeah, let's do that. <laughs> Warning, oxygen uh, mix too high. Um Put yeah, it on. You watch as it for a moment or two as as there is a like a scrap going on. Um, in your corridor, shortly, um, shortly after it starts, you see start to see this. You know the things that ripped your leg off. The yep. Deacons for bastards. For those who who know what we're sort of mm -hmm. mentioning. Um, a number of these turn up, um, and after a brief moment, they all set on the one that um, insurrected, if you will, um, that smashed and and literally like drag it into the darkness so you can no longer see. Um, and the two return to like banging on on the door to sort of wrench their way into the to the bridge, um, and the, you turn your oxygen up and it's just like fuck this. Start it right up. Yeah. Okay. Um, smash up the controls so someone can't turn the thrusters off. And just just and uh, sit back and turn on some some music in my. Uh, in my suit so everyone can hear it what does Lugo the... play um it's probably some um uh some some dark synth wave because we're spiraling into a black hole so it I feels like the right gonna be like, like... take me home country road <laughs> no i'm a taller captain but i'm not that kind of joy <laughs> oh yeah 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 no it's like <laughs> in my head as i'm like high, you know getting okay. high on the oxygen and stuff it's much better way to go rather than dangerously you know. end credits he sounding music yeah yeah um as um as navar and um Drabikowski, like bundle themselves into the into the astrometrics um this thing shutting and, and thing you look over the the sort of readings for it um you've got barely any oxygen in this sort of little lifeboat now it's detached from the station its batteries to keep it going are not necessarily very charged um doesn't have much of a um where is it actually? It's a bunch of stuff. Are we all the way at the top? Um, it's five meter square room. Um, um, there's a bunch of radiological equipment that is just sort of beeping like absolute, you know, Christmas trees. There's a bunch of, of clothes. You look over, you see um, a name badge for science officer clerk. Um, uh, there are amb ambient energy collectors, but the the batteries, there's only one of them. So, or there, there's some reason why they won't charge. Um, and as you sort of look at the, the storm shields, um, you realize one of them is, um, is painted. Um, it's got some sort of um, phosphorus paint scrawled across it. Um, does anybody, um, I think, let me just, so anybody been to the Gelhold Institute or have any training from the Gelhold Institute in their characters? Um, I've just got bioscience, I've not got anything. Um, let me just... uh, no mention of the Institute in mine either. Yeah, go on. That was me! No. Was that you? <laughs> no. I think it might have been Henstrom or even um, Ajiri. Maybe. Yeah. So there's these weird um these weird hieroglyphs painted on the on the inside in an odd phosphorus paint. Um and um 
as you sort of um look over it and as you sort of look around um you work out you can see that this guy has been like living in here for a while before he's sort of turned and become one of these things um as you both sit there unable to control your trajectory not full of um oxygen or power what do you do like with your last moments in in space do we not only have four hours until the carrier gets here maybe that's um, that's Drabikowski's head we only have to last four hours we only have to last four hours shoot Navar then I shall take out a small pencil mm -hmm. and start writing my character on the side of the hull say what are you going to be a fighter <laughs> or a wizard <laughs> <laughs> we only have four hours so we must make this quite quick <laughs> i've memorized my wizard from from the original game um four hours they were up to all kinds of shit on this station you know there was not only the bio research uh iron fish as well they were collecting troop movement across the entire UPP. This was a spy station. They were using the black hole as cover and radio booster. I saw some scary shit. There was a really cool, I'll just tell, I'll just tell Trabakowski about the, the big starfish thing. Mm -hmm. Did not see that in any of the records. Mm -hmm. Can we plug in some of the hard drives and start doing some work? Okay, so you, as the, um, as the Navarre, uh, sorry, Bartello. Bring uh, that power. And Drabikowski, like, sit there looking over some of the things. We watch as this, like, detached kind of um, top of the space, the, the Erebus station sort of flows and rolls towards the, um, what is the name of the ship? Uh, rolls towards this UPP cruiser, like, and I suspect it's like one of those meatball ships kind of thing. Um, as you see it sort of on the distance, as the the sort of shark kind of comes away, and on the outside you see sort of hanging on the back of this thing, um, a long elongated human form, um, and with almost sort of covering it over, protecting it, three or four of these alien creatures as it quietly kind of tumbles towards the the rescue ship on the outside of the hull and that is heart of darkness thank you very much for playing Ooh. games with me you're all gonna die when wicked. you get back to the ship <laughs> i get a story point you do get a story point <laughs> yeah you do you may you achieved your objective yeah story um, point yeah, you achieved your objective. And st the funny thing about story points is um, they belong to players, not characters. Oh, that's cool. I just got another story point as well, then. Yeah, you got another story point. Uh, they belong to players, not characters. Um, and uh, sorry, I've just seen your message in chat. It's not luminescent paint. It's um, Predator Blood. Yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Yeah. No, it's not. I've just seen oh, right. Pete's message. <laughs> uh, it's not. They don't have the same license for them. Don't, don't cross the streams. <laughs> very different RPGs. Um, I did watch Prey the other week and it was excellent. Uh, kiss. Mm. Um, but yeah, the story points um, are for the players. And what um, what the cinematics say is um, whoever has story points left over, um, they will get to have first pick of the characters in um, the, the, next, the next scenario. Yeah, you, so you get dips and that kind of stuff. Um, um, uh, so, so yeah, there is all kinds of weird stuff that you didn't even go near in this book. Mm. I thought there was quite a lot we hadn't gone anywhere near. Mm -hmm. There's all kinds of weird stuff that goes on in this book. Um, that was a lot of fun. It, it was. It is a good scenario. There's a lot. I think it's like a lot of the other um, cinematic scenarios. There's a lot going on, which gives you an opportunity to maybe like try it again. Or if folks were going to like... Like we've played it together. Like if Simon was going to go and run it somewhere else, they could mm. pick different options and, and that kind of thing. Yeah. Weird. 
not gonna lie, be, folks. I thought Weird. I'd be fine with a with like a seventy four year old dottery old dude, and it turns out he's. I'm like, I'm like, I picked a wicked one here. I know, right? <laughs> when when you picked that one, I was a bit like, okay, this is gonna feed into Simon's play style. Yeah, yeah, can't go anything wrong. Chaos. Here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, what, I was like, what was your um, final um, objective? You survive. Survive. Yeah, basically, so I had, to, I had to survive and I had to get a sample, take a sample of the alien back with me. I mean, it didn't say it was on, on top of the ship, but uh, no. I'm, I'm going with that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, uh, Luger, what was your last one? I had to get Grey and get the fuck out of there. Grey I tried. Grey was gone. I don't think I was going to, I don't think I was yeah. going to complete that one. No. I think, I mean, there are options for if Grey isn't, I mean, maybe we don't have to have killed Grey brutally. Oh, that's cool. That's cool. Time, but, I was um, expecting to die because I'd had my leg torn off and I had about yeah. an hour to live anyway. Yes. So, yeah, you know, take everyone out with me. It was a good ending. Um, how, how did Drabikowski do? Um, Drabikowski was a former spy who didn't want to be a spy. She got out, man. She was out. She was living the life of an academic. Everything was copacetic. Things were fine. And then along comes the MSS and ropes her back in for one last mission. You never leave the MSS. No. So I was ordered to prove my loyalty by stealing all of the data on something called Ironfish from the Erebos mission recorder located in the station's mainframe whilst at the same time fighting off the fact that something weird and alien was trying to talk to me in my brain mm -hmm. yes. constantly. Yes. Um, Originally, then I had to work out how to um, find out what the alien thing was, but also be warned that someone in the group was shadowing me, which meant I thought there was someone out to get me, which is why I suspected Navarre for the wrong reasons. It was Navarre that was shadowing me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought Navarre was shadowing me because they were some kind of corporate or um, Commonwealth spy who knew me from the old days and were trying to get me. Mm -hmm. And then in the end, um, my final act three thing was UPP, UA, none of it matters. They're all just letters and lines on a map. What's happening on Erebus must, must be stopped, even if it means sacrificing to do it. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I ran the maths and I decided to sacrifice the station. Yeah. Um, Ajiri had to save everyone. Yeah. Yeah. That didn't come out. So well. like that's a hard one. That's a harsh one to have yeah. in this kind of scenario. Yeah. Yeah. Because I mean, you're I'm not really... going to save every, everyone, like saying everyone, you know, yeah. like, I mean, saving someone was hard enough. Save yeah. it. Well, if we'd have saved the cat, that would have been good. Sorry. Not sorry. Poor Adrian. Yeah. Poor Adrian. Um, but yeah. Adrian. Adrian. Suffocated. I think if we hadn't completely split up at, at, on episode one, it would have been a bit different. I don't um, know. We probably would have fallen to infighting if we hadn't split up. Yeah, 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 yeah. maybe. Yeah. And like the core book does say, like, let your party split up, like up. It actively oh, yeah, yeah. encourages like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The splitting up and sending everybody yeah. everywhere uh, yeah that's where the fun comes in it's huh? the fact that the two people that had guns went went and played Together? with computers and, and the ones that had no weapons were like okay uh, we're gonna go and do hand-to-hand -hand combat with aliens yeah sajad had like a shock gun yeah 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 yeah, yeah. but no but that was an, an npc but, yeah. but she's interesting because she has a copy of space beast Mm. Yeah. yeah he's interesting um yeah and um helmstrom has his barcode on the back of his head so he's yeah. what is that he's probably some sort of former convict yeah, yeah it must have been oh it was a it was a dare um, from my frat bros like of course it was mate do you want me to do you want me to spoil it a little bit i don't know whether like no, maybe no. not for chat just in case no. anybody okay. else wants to play yeah. well yeah. they can switch off i want to okay. know right. <laughs> if, you're, if you're gonna try and be any of the other characters like like so so henstrom's barcode tattoo is real um yeah and he um he knows something about the the thing called the draconis draconis strain um 
and he's he's essentially um he's essentially there for um well in jitani he's like a mm. he is a, like a corporate spy um kind of someone thing. had to be um but also he's not afraid to experiment on himself like he's a little bit oh. like well Weird. you know a mad scientist kind of thing um which is why when he he found a jiri later on that's when he ran off and that kind of stuff he might have gone you know weird L licked a pupa yeah like yeah. you know perfected weird thing evolve into that kind of stuff um lark um lark is funny um because they're a synthetic um except they've burnt out their own behavior chip um and she doesn't even know what she's capable of anymore um and she oh, can wow. that was that was my He's number a one back me. <laughs> yeah um and she um she starts in act two she can start accumulating stress wow Ooh, okay. um interesting kind of thing um and then um she becomes worried that um erebus station and the system is becoming overwritten so will that overwrite her kind of thing um interesting um, so was wix an, an option or is Wix just uh, um, Wix is the crime lord? Isn't it? Wix is the crime lord. Um, what is Sajad? Um, so um, it, when it gets to Act Three, um, Sajad has decided that the dark gods and the prophets and the weird stuff in Space Beast haven't chosen her as another prophet. And she needs to survive, and she needs to make sure the station survives. Oh right! So she goes native. Yeah. And um, he drinks the Kool Aid, uh, kind of thing. Um, Wix uh, isn't a person you can play, but really wants to um, get one over on the um, the warden. Um, yeah, yeah. Who isn't there? <laughs> we found who that is, one out. Who is dead? Yeah, um, he can be there, but at the at the point that we got to places where we were getting into it, more yeah. NPCs mm. would not have yeah no need been, mm. been needed, uh, yeah. and he could always you could always been like ah now you're Wix kind of thing, and there yeah. are mm. a group of convicts who want to try and escape. So if you've got that kind of thing going on, you can bribe someone to try and let you escape, which is another another nice npc thing but it's yeah there's some weird stuff going down on on that old ship that luger's aunt is on weird with the, the kieran yeah, cheeron the kieran yeah yeah um and... from the cronus from yeah. yeah the previous So what was it so when you found the other person so when you found her her my great aunt she'd been she's one of the perfected ones mm -hmm. right she right. was part of the crew of, of the, the Kieron, yeah, yeah, of the of, Kieron, of the yeah. well, from the from the Kronos, well, the, yeah. and they'd yeah. kind of escaped. The Kieron is one of the life, the the science pods, pods, yeah, yeah, from the yeah. Kronos, yeah. And right. It gets so when what's the Kronos? I'm missing something. In Chariot, Chariot of the, the Gods, gods. Chariot of the Gods, in the very right. first one of the the, the mm. three. The Montero yeah. finds the Cronus. Finds the Cronus. And then you science. go in and they're they're all locked away in pods. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The science the science bit has been jettisoned. Yeah. And you're yes. supposed to think like the science thing in the in the chariot of the god, it's been jettisoned and left behind on a planet kind of thing. Not yeah, but no. These folks have, have escaped whatever was on the Cronus mm. by becoming and yeah, it floats through space for seventy odd years, becomes a bit of a meteor, they drag it onto the mm -hmm. ship, um, and that kind of stuff. And Sorry, Pete. Yeah, your aunt was saying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so it was just cool that it was all tied into that weird shit going on yeah. on that deck. But I hadn't gone down there. But it was like uh, finding out about my aunt was a death sentence. <laughs> so, but fair enough. It's an alien. Yeah. I tried to get down to the deck, but it was like as soon as, soon as we met that that kind of like beast. Cuddles. It was like cuddles. Yeah. It was like okay. So. I, I know I know I'm probably gonna get gets covered in acid because I've played Alien before, but my character doesn't know I'm gonna get covered in acid. So we'll have a go at that. I if I saw one of those giant 
trilobite things or whatever they are mm-hmm. that, yeah. that I would have just fucking legged it the other way <laughs> I'd have yeah. done a hellstrom that thing is gross <laughs> yeah but I was trying to get down so we could get to the sure. the, uh, the ship yeah because that was it that was like one of the one of my earlier that was the source was like... of it all wasn't it yeah. yeah and the moats that came from yeah. 26 draconis yeah. yeah and made the abominations yeah. and made you know all of the weird shit going on yeah. mm-hmm. and if, if i'd actually got to the rock i may have had to have taken my helmet off and licked it yeah geology because, because um that's a thing that's totally yeah. how we science yeah absolutely yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. i can't remember what i was watching that that was on but i mean i think they, they, it's they, not they, uncommon in geology yeah, 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 yeah. it's a geologist thing lick the rock um yeah. But yeah, there's all kinds of like um, they want you to make a, a serum. If you go into some places, you can find out like a a way to kill the proto hive, or mm. you know, there's other options. Mm-hmm. Um, and there are still people still in cryo on the the Charon mm. that you could revive. Oh, who would be like Whoop. sorry to those people? Yeah, um, so they're dropping were, you in a black hole. There were, Best place for it all. Options for you to have lots of different people, including you could play the cat, like Adrian was a, a player character. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he has stat box in the book. Um, mm. I so thought me and Ajiri were both going to die when the cat came out. And I, I just, literally, I was, just I was like ready that for scene, it. I was I really, ready for I'm it, really and then the cat came out. I like, think we <sighs> both should have died because just the egregious breaches of biological containment protocols by two people who are supposed to be professional scientists was just shocking. Yeah. Yeah, but my <laughs> my um my mission, my secret mission was was basically find out all the science. So I had to go in. That's like my characters. It was like yeah. I had to go in. And, and it, uh, um I thought I thought Liam was just going to knock me out. Just <laughs> stop. Stop touching stuff. But yeah, you can play um uh you can play the cat. Its personal agenda is eat, sleep, and get the humans to give you all the attention. Yeah. That's your personal agenda. Um, and it actually has quite a few sort of talents. Got um, stealthy, um, and nimble, and slinky, and purr. Those are its talents. Does it have hiss from hiss at something behind you? Um, That's generally what the cats do in alien movies, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, Come on, come on. Which is why it was priceless when it was inside Leon's Mm. helmet doing that. Yeah. Its it's signature item is a bit grim. It's its crusty butt. (laughs) Yeah, I could see how you could interact with your signature item as a cat. Yeah, yeah. 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 Um, I'm glad Andrew Gasker isn't on Twitter because me and him would be having a conversation after this this, this game. Yeah. But yeah, that's that's um, Heart of Darkness. Um, thank you very much for playing Aliens with us, folks. Thanks for running it, Millie. That was awesome. It's good. Yeah, it's really, I like. I love the cinematic. They're some of my favorite. Yeah, they're very cool. Play it. Um, what day are we on? We're on Tuesday. We are. We're on Tuesday. We are. are we? Um, a Watertail tomorrow. tomorrow. Yeah. Yep. As far as we know, it's Excellent. all on course. Excellent. Um, I think there were some folks who were a little bit poorly last week, so hopefully everybody's. Was it poorly last week or was it a holiday last week? I get confused. Poorly last week. Yes. All right. I hope everybody's yep. feeling better. And then we can go mm. back to the moot. And whatever, yes. whatever is going on there. Um, it's going in a seven samurai direction, I think. But, nice. Yeah. Excellent. Um, mm. Thursday, um, there is nothing live from what oh. I remember because uh, Heroic Deeds is, is a YouTube yeah, we're not we're not actually recording this week either. We've got people away, so okay. and I've I've life has construed to mean that I have had zero time to between the last session and Thursday to prepare. So unfortunately, no, um, like it's very I, I'm covered. I'm covered by the fact someone can't make it, so that's all right. Very important not to make yourself play when you don't want to play. That's why it's fun. Um, looking after yourself is. Anything. So that's Thursday. We're having it's my a kids. Day. It's my bloody kids. No, they're gorgeous. Stop it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, Hang on. Doesn't that mean you have to take them back to the future? It's your oh, kids, Marty. It's your kids. Excellent. So, so on Thursday, Pete is constructing a DeLorean, which is why we can't stream um, in a, his house that is not on fire. Out of um, Lego. At Lego. Oh yeah. Lego the Americans DeLorean. are still playing Acton Cthulhu. Though. Acton Cthulhu. Something about Panzer tanks. I saw recently. Um, some sort of cliffhanger. YouTube comments were 
uh, exciting there. Um, acting Cthulhu, and then once Acting Cthulhu is gone, I hear they're going back to Naliothotep. Um, and yeah. then Friday, it's Blades in the Josh, Blades in the Duck. Yeah. Blades in the Duck. And if you come on over to Discord, you can have a say in what our potential score might be in the that newspapers. little adventure with the newspapers because josh, josh is producing a weekly newspaper which awesome. that reflects on our previous job a little and then puts in some little story seeds for a future job the missing ship i read and cited yep. it's it's gone missing it's not i think it's... aaron's got his eye on that one he's like yeah piracy yeah but piracy. we've got a barge we do not have a leviathan hunter <laughs> be fine it'll be fine yeah um, but yeah that's over on discord which you should all come and join um and chat and have a laugh with us there it's like a small village or something crazy now um oh yeah folks um talking about newspapers um sharing things i see folks have just backed something weird on kickstarter over uh in in the tavern um and there are some wonderful pictures of food down in the in the food and, and cooking is that crusted roast carrot roast carrots and sweet potatoes on crusted tilapia that looks very tasty it does it does look very tasty um I... oh, we do still qualify as a village until we go over 900 people okay, okay. come and join come and join us so we become then we become a, a town. small town at town. 901 um if you um if you're wondering um what we're we're chatting about and you want to see previous sessions of this or you want to catch up on all of the Awatatau, Akatun Kasulu, or see what anything like the, the Nalia Thotep or the folks have been doing come join us on YouTube um, where we uh, upload at the weekends um, if you're watching on YouTube and you want to see us ramble live by us, I mean me, join us on Twitch um, either way, give us a, a sub or a follow and um, search Garbar Games on your favourite social media, podcast thing, internet, and just subscribe to everything. And we have Cartopia. If that wasn't enough. We have three issues of our monthly TTRPG zine uh, for our lovely patrons of the Adventurer tier and above. Um, crypts, Ruins, and Astral so far, and Sewers will be coming out at the end of the month or thereabouts, hopefully. Uh, so keep your eyes peeled uh, and s come and check out our Patreon. Patreon, there's loads of cool stuff on there as well. There's oh. loads of free stuff on there as well, just to get. I've got well. something to add to the Patreon that I keep forgetting to add, which ties in nicely to where we will be next week. Because um, we're going to go out into space in a different way. Hang on, I just need to tell my son to stop playing YouTube in another room. Hang on. <laughs> a different kind of horror in space. There we go. Um, I have successfully mummed. Um, but yeah, next week we're going to, to do some Coriolis. Remember that shenanigans in the different kind of space. And I do have the, the ship, the ship we're on. I've got the sheet for it and all the info. Oh, and a cool. nice picture that I can upload to um, uh, Patreon. Um, and we'll stick that on for free. Just go and check it out. Um, mm. But we've been Garblag Games. Everybody is dead, alive. Schrodinger's, Schrodinger's uh, UPP. Um, uh, thanks very much. Uh, I'm going to go to Discord. Bye.